hey guys all right so let's just jump right into it questions from you guys here we go two-part question here so since you say that we are creators of our universe then why is it hard for me to manifest abundance if I'm the creator I have a hard time manifesting abundance financial freedom and what are the signs when I'm manifesting abundance that the universe is listening to me and sending abundance my way. All right. So I guess this one is about more like money related or, you know, the conscious. All right. So here's how it works. All right. So the first thing about manifesting abundance is we have to notice our thoughts and our beliefs. So you have to keep a log of what you're saying to yourself. Next. We have to activate what's called your abundance DNA or your wealth DNA. That's right. You have a wealth DNA. You know where it is? It's stored in your subconscious mind. Ah! So the second thing we have to do, we have to activate our subconscious mind. So let me show you quickly how it works. If you want to manifest more abundance, money, whatever it is, financial. The first thing you got to do, right, as you say, release the thoughts or beliefs that you have contrary to that. The next thing you got to do, you got to become open open to receive from the universe. Remember, it's the it's not your job to, dis, to decide how and when, it's the universe. And the reason why is because we can't see everything in front of us. The next step, you have to embody what it means to be abundant for you. This is where your imagination comes in and this is where your writing stuff comes out. Okay, so let me show you some knowledge that will help you to understand this stuff on a deeper level. Number one is your awareness of everything. So think about that. That means nothing is new to you. You've already experienced everything. Matter of fact, you've already experienced abundance and money and whatever it is, you've already experienced it. But here's the loophole about that stuff. You see what happens is we have been programmed systematically, systematically to believe in a story about our minds and our beliefs. You see, our minds tell us that I am this, I am that, I'm not good at that, I'm not good at this. I'm just not great at making money. I can't get what I want. You see, the mind is not you. You are the awareness above the mind. And because you are awareness above the mind, you cannot not experience anything. Every, you've already experienced everything. That means abundance. So when you're trying to manifest abundance, that's when you're going to meet resistance. Because the awareness of you knows you've already experienced that thing. So the first key for you is you have to learn how to release and let go. Let things come into your life. So how do you do that? Stop trying to control how or when. And number two, be open to avenues to come. You don't have to figure out how all of this works. Your job is just to be open. But let's go into the most important part. If you want to bring more abundance into your life, we're going to turn on your wealth DNA. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'll give you a couple affirmations that you can say that will activate your wealth DNA. It's your subconscious. Now remember... If you follow my teachings and you know how this stuff, you, you're following how stuff works. And remember, I use the quantum mechanics along with the mind, neuroscience. I like to put the science with the spirituality because it gives you that solidity and that belief and that proof. So here's the first thing about the mind. Your unconscious mind responds better to questions. It doesn't respond to statements. Statements you want to put into your conscious mind, fine. But if you want to turn on that abundance mindset, what? You're going to use. So here's the one that you want to use first. Number one is every morning you can get up, you can say this. Why do I have more than enough money to live the life I desire? Okay. Number two. Why do I deserve all the things I desire? Number three. Why is everything consistently working out in my favor? Okay. Number four. How would it make me feel to have X and X amount Da, 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 in my bank account those four questions will start to reprogram and open and activate your wealth DNA now that's the part of it that's the most important the second part you want to do now we want to get into the imagination or some people can't imagine it because they have aphantasia but you can write so what you want to do now if you can imagine you want to embody what it would feel like to have abundance what would an abundant lifestyle look like for you? Listen carefully now. This is important. This is where people mess up. People use abundance and compare it to other people. 
You can't do that because your subconscious only knows you. So you cannot look and say, well, it's going to be like a celebrity. Oh, Jamie Foxx or da da da, this person or that. What would it look? No, you're embodying another entity, another being. It has to be for you. It's your life. You're living it. What does it look like for you? When you do that, that's when the information will start to come in to help you. Next part of the question they ask me is, okay, does the universe give you a sign to let you know that when abundance is coming your way? Yes, it does. The thing about the universe is it's a self-correcting code. The universe will give you all the signs and the life and the lead ways for you to manifest. But guys, keep this in mind. Self-correcting code. Life always takes care of itself. Life always works itself out. But the problem is you don't have, you don't have the patience to stay and watch it. We get fear and our ego gets crippled and we say, Oh my God, I got to go get this money. I got to go. Oh God, I got $10 in my bank account. I can't pay my rent. Oh my God. And you start to panic and you set up resistance. But only if you remain patient and focus and repeat and just watch behind the scenes. You'll see miracles come in your life. I guarantee you. But how do I know that? Because I was there. So many people have been there. When, when, you're right, when, you're, when you're right at the edge, that's when you're going to manifest that goal. All right. So the point of the matter is this. What are the signs when the universe is bringing abundance to your way? Here it is. So let's say you are now in the next level. You've mastered this stuff. You learn this stuff and you're putting it to work. You're using your imagination. You're clearing. You're using these subliminal questions. You're clearing the blocks. And I also want to put another caveat for you too. You could use subliminal programming when you sleep at night about wealth and abundance. That will also activate your wealth DNA. So if you're doing that and then you're monitoring your thoughts, you're only focusing on what you want, the positivity, not the negativity, and then you understand the mind is not you and you're above it, that's when this stuff starts to work for you. Now let's go to when the signs start appearing for you. The number one sign that you will see around you that abundance is coming your way is the number eights. If you see a lot of eights, 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 and also the sevens. See, the sevens are a precursor to the eights. The sevens are the appetizer. The eights are the main course. The number seven means miracles are on the way to you. The eights means miracles has have arrived and money and abundance is about to come into your life. Now, here's what you want to do when you see those signs. Do not overreact. You don't have to get super happy because remember, you have to make it normal. So when you see the sign, just act like, Okay, interesting, it's coming, I'm good, and let it go. See, when you see the eights, guys, people think this, oh, it's going to come tomorrow. It could be a week, it could be a month, whatever. Remember, it's, the universe will decide how and when, but it will show you a sign that it's on the way to you. So when you see the eights around you, and if you're someone that you know you've been doing the work, or the sevens around you, and you know that you've been focusing on what you want, you've been doing your visualization, you've been using your, these ask formations, you're using your subliminal programming, Congratulations, <laughs> you're about to reap a big reward. Now, when they see the eights, it's a right account. Now, what, what's, what's so significant about the eights? Look how the eight is curved. It's an infinite curve. Abundance is infinite. That's the universe telling you. Listen, guys, the universe is mathematics. We didn't invent mathematics. We discovered mathematics. So this is encoded in the universe. They always show you these signs about what's, what's going to happen. So do you see how that works? So let's, why don't we do a quick recap so you can really get this stuff. Number one, notice what you're thinking and belief. Change your beliefs. Number two, focus on what abundance would look like for you. Number three, use those affirmations I put out earlier. Number four, use sub subliminals to help you to achieve that. Number five, let go and release. Don't try to figure out how or when. Let the universe do that. Number six, be open. So Mark, what does it mean to be open? To be open means that I am not focusing on the one particular way I'm going to get abundance. Being open means I'm open to all the channels that I can't imagine and the ones that I can imagine. It's like me saying to the universe, all right, I would like you to come this way. Some people say, well, I'd like you to come in the lottery. I'd like you to come in a casino. I'd like you to come in my real estate. i like you to come. Okay, I'll say that, but then I'll also say, but on the, as, I'm also open as well for you, universe, to bring it the way that you seem fit for me. That's all open means. That's what it means. Open means that, I'll give an example, okay. Some people, they will focus on one avenue only and they shut out all the infinite opportunities. So they close the door. So you say, universe, you got to bring it to me this way. And you shut the door, man. 
you don't want to shut the door. What you want open means, okay, universe, I want you to bring it this way. But listen, I know you're infinite and I know I'm you and you're me. So let me just leave the door open so you can bring it in and surprise me. That's what open means, people. Now let me throw another caveat in there to show you because I like to bring the science and stuff into this. The next part of the component is your vibration. And this is the rule of quantum physics. In quantum mechanics and quantum physics, we exist as what we call wave forms or when you hear to say this fancy word, we're collapsing the wave function. So what that basically means is that we exist as potential. You, my friend, before you see a physical being, your actual state, this is important, your actual state of existence is scattered. You're a wave, man. You exist in all potential possibilities. You exist as the rich, the wealthy, the successful, the poor, the sad. The, all, you exist in all these states. What, ha, what collapses, what they call collapses, the wave function, is what you believe and expect for yourself. So if you're someone out there and you're thinking about, man, I just can't have it. It won't be enough money. You just collapse your wave function to become that version of yourself. But if you're someone that you start to think to yourself, you know what? It's possible. I'm optimistic. I'm going to manifest it. Abundance is coming. I'm, I know how this stuff works. I'm the universe. I can create this. I know now. I now know the key to activate my wealth code. You know, this guy's teaching me about the subconscious and all this stuff I didn't know. And it's working. Wow. I know this stuff. You collapse the wave function now to become that reality. That is according to quantum physics. That's not according to philosophies, people. That's how it works. You know, okay. You know you are light, right? You're a photon. That's how we see a photon has awareness. That's a consciousness. A photon knows when it's being observed. Therefore, it has to be in a specific location. Not a specific, but it has to be in a location to appear. What? Let me ask a question. What makes a photon come into a location? It has to have an observer. Who's the observer? You. You observe your thoughts. You cannot be your thoughts because you cannot be the thing you're observing. You observe everything. You are aware of every single thing. What the observer is, that's called the higher self or the awareness. What the awareness does, the awareness controls the particles. The awareness can observe a particle and it commands the particle to do this. Now, I'll say, tell you this. It's not going to be instantaneous. So I'm not going to sit here and, and t tell you this thing. Oh, it's going to be tomorrow. No, it's not an instantaneous process. It's not like you do it like this. In the non-physical it is, but for it to appear in your 3D world, your brain is tremendously slow in processing. So it's going to ex experience what's called a time delay in the brain. But in the fit, in the true essence, it's like that, man. It's like that. That's why you should never give up on your dreams. That's why you should never give up. Because when you're close, that's when you're about to give up, that's when it pops into your reality. Let me ask somebody here. And what's in your awareness is your mind aka your mentalities okay your mind is not you your mind is created by the collective consciousness of all other people i'll give you an example people who are depressed they usually have the same thoughts people who are happy they usually have the same thoughts people who are low self-esteem have the same thoughts right so these thoughts create what's called a, cir a circadian rhythm, like a rhythm, and they flow into the universe. And then depending on what state you're in, your vibration, how you feel, you'll tap into these thoughts. We're always moving our vibration. So that's why all of a sudden you start feeling low and down. You're like, man, why am I feeling that? You're picking up a thought. What if you just start feeling positive? Think about what you were doing. Man, I started feeling positive. You know what? I was laughing. I was in the sun. I had plenty of sleep. I was feeling good. All my, I mean, my vibration is up. So... Your thoughts aren't you. They're just part of the field. What you are, the awareness of the thoughts. Now, however, because you have awareness, you can control the thoughts. You can pick which thoughts you want to tune into. See that? You can actually invent or create a thought. You can manufacture a thought. That's all they are. Now, here, here's the thing that people don't understand. People associate their thoughts because it has a voice of them. Eek wrong it's not you let me show you how your brain works when all thoughts come to the brain the brain has to identify the thought so it only it has only knows you so it has to take your voice so every single thought that comes is going to take your voice that's the only way the brain is going to get information to you so it's not you the only true thought that's you people 
are the thoughts that make you feel good. Think about it. You are the awareness. Awareness always wants to what? Experience awareness, positivity, whatever you want to experience. So you're not going to come in and just make yourself feel down and bad and, and depressed all the time, are you? No. You'd rather feel happy and peaceful, right? Those are the true thoughts of you. So abundance comes in that way. And so if you start to do that, you will create abundance. Now what abundance leads to, guys, is the money. Okay? Think about that. It's always abundance, then the money. Money is a tool for your abundance. So I don't, I don't focus on the money. Focus on the lifestyle, what it would look like for you to have that. Then the money is a precursor or the money is an actual uh, effect of a cause. Universe works with cause and effect. Hope that answers the question. And I said a lot here. I'll try to save this and put it up. So abundance always starts in the mind. Of course, people, you, the abundance, you, the world is mental. The universe, the multiverse is mental. That's correct, my friend. Don't focus on the money. Focus on the lifestyle. You, listen, I got to put this in your head. Listen, listen, okay? You have a mind, a subconscious mind. It's, it's connected to your authentic self. It's part of the mind, Okay? But it's an unconscious mind, and it's a mind you tune in that uses intuition, dreams, and etc. But that part of the mind is so super intelligent, it's beyond your awareness. That part of the mind, as soon as you put something in it, it'll figure out how and when to bring it to you. That your conscious mind can never see in a billion years. That's why you never should try to figure out how and when you're going to get what you want. Because you're just not capable of doing it. You cannot see everything in front of you, people. We live in an infinite multiverse. Infinite. Okay? Let that word sink in. Infinite possibilities. I just showed you in quantum physics you're a wave function. You already exist as infinite potentials. It's because you focus on one thing, you collapse it, and you become this lifestyle. So you can always change it. But the secret to changing it, you have to do a little bit of work. You have to tune that frequency, the vibration. Activate that wealth DNA, the subconscious. Show it. Boom! And abundance will be on your way. Your boss is always telling you energy is strong. We are energy. Our body is composed of over a quintillion amounts of atoms. That's a very lot. There's a large amount of atoms. And these atoms... They all work together. Let me, all right, let me, before I go, I want to show you something to, to leave your, your mind boggling, okay? To show you that what you're doing, you have to get out of the way and let the universe do, does, do its thing, okay? The cells in your DNA, they know how to replicate. They know how to create all the functions to make your liver, your heart, everything works. When you get a cut, they know automatically how to heal themselves. You can't even interfere with that. All your cells and everything has been pre-programmed to come to a natural flow of harmony without your interference. Your heart is beating at the perfect beat. You're breathing the perfect amount of oxygen and releasing the perfect amount of carbon dioxide. All that has been calculated within the cells and you don't even have any awareness of that. So what makes you think that you can figure out how to do stuff? Get out of the way and let you, the universe, do it for you. Observe it. Use your mind as a tool to instruct it. And then let it come into your world, people. That's how everything will always go back to its normal state. Life is happening. It doesn't need you to interfere to try to fix it or figure it out. Your job is to declare what you want, focus on it, and sit back behind the scenes. And then watch for when the universe says, hey, all right, come get it now. All right, hey, I need you to go over here and do this. That's what your job is. Your job is not because your body is doing things that you are incapable of understanding or creating. The cell, your cells right now are multiplying billions and trillions. The cells in your body, they know exactly when a cell is, is, uh, is, is what you call it, cancerous or something. It sends a signal to the cell to, come, to create what's called apoptosis. The cell automatically dies. There's signals. All of this is happening without your control. So, you want abundance? Declare it. Get out of the way. And let the universe do it for you. That's all, that's all you got to do. Alright. So, I'll see you guys next time.